Well, the Road to Safety campaign has been all about partnerships, and we in NDTV have had the privilege of tying up with Diageo and USL. They've been very active partners in this entire campaign to spread the message. Uh, and I'd like to thank both of you very much for joining us. And I'd also like to thank my friend Piyush Tiwari, the founder and CEO of the Save Life Foundation, for so happily coming on board and, and sharing with uh, us his thoughts throughout. Uh, Abanti Shankar Narayanan, the MD of Diageo India Private Limited, and uh, Anand Kripalu, the C uh, CEO and MD of USL, both with us today. Abanti, let me come to you first. When you started this campaign about six months back, what were your objectives and what do you think you've actually achieved uh, at the end of the day as we come closer to wrapping this all up? So Vishnu, the two objectives that we had were uh, firstly to create collective consciousness around this very important issue of road safety and I think we've been very successful in doing that through the campaign. And the second thing that we wanted to create was really a robust model of partnership uh, and the whole uh, spirit with which we've done this is to say there are different partners in civil society, in government uh, who bring unique values uh, and strengths and therefore we wanted this to be a collective partnership. And I think those are the two things that we set out to achieve and we've done that very well. What do you believe, Anand, the role of corporates uh, should be in something like this? Uh, we all talk about road safety, you know, over, over, over drinks and dinner, but we don't really act upon it. Uh, and let's face it, at some stage, everybody's broken the law in our country. It's, it's a reality which we all need to come to terms with. But what about corporates? What role do you believe corporates should have? Well, I think, uh, you know, fortunately, the realization amongst corporates that uh, doing good is good for business, uh, I, I think, has finally uh, 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 come to roost. Um, I think when you take a company like ours, I think we recognize that a lot of people enjoy our products responsibly. Uh, but there are some, as you said, who don't. Right. And I think, you know, given our proximity to consumers, understanding how our products are consumed, actually puts us in a, in a vantage position to be able to craft programs that actually can make a difference, to raise awareness, you know, change attitudes of people towards exactly the issue that you said, and, and hopefully over time to change the behavior of people as well. Piyush, do you think this is encouraging that, you know, we've got Diageo and USL on board, uh, and in, in many senses companies you wouldn't ordinarily associate with a road safety campaign, because drinking and driving is such a concern in India. But these are corporates who've actually come on board and said, no, no, we need to be associated with a campaign like this because we have a message and we want people to be responsible. Our products and what we market do not necessarily or in any way, in fact, come in the way of encouraging road safety. I think it's encouraging that uh, different stakeholders are realizing that, that they have a role to play, uh, including uh, you know, companies that manufacture and sell liquor. Um, uh, and and not only uh, and this is just a beginning, I believe. I think that there's a there's a long way to go before we can actually see impact on the ground. But it's a good beginning that uh, you know stakeholders are re realizing that they have a role to play, and uh, you know they're coming forward and actually doing something about it. I think that's that's fairly encouraging. Abanti, uh, on the ground, what changes, what differences have you actually seen, uh, perhaps over the last six months or over a period of time? Do you, do you really? Do you see some sense that things need to change on the ground among people you speak to? So I think absolutely things need to change on the ground uh, and I think that change has to start with people being aware and conscious of the issue in the first place and then reflecting on their own behaviour and attitude and, and therefore changing that. Now in the programme that we have run, we've actually had very, very encouraging results so far. So uh, we do a training programme for commercial vehicle drivers as well as for uh, enforcement traffic uh, police. And what we found through that two-day training program uh, that we do, that uh, their pre-awareness on road safety issues would be in the range of about 30%, and after the training program, that's gone up to nearly 77 to 80%. Uh, but the larger campaign that we've run on television has really improved consumer awareness. It has got a lot of celebrities to become aware and endorse the Don't Drink and Drive message. We've had over 250,000 pledges of Don't Drink, I Won't Drink and Drive. So I think, you know, we've started becoming a force for good. But as Piyush said, it's the tip of the iceberg and we have to keep, keep at this for some time. Well, on the Diageo NDTV Road to Safety campaign, we took this campaign to nine cities across India. And the reception was fantastic, a clear sign that people want things to start changing. 
A nation of more than 1.2 billion people, India struggles every day to be safe on our road. Welcome to the launch of a very special campaign, the Road to Safety, which we are doing in partnership with Diya Jyoti. To bring a change towards this continuous challenging situation, Diageo NDTV launched the Road to Safety campaign in 2014. All five cars failed the test. As India observes Road Safety Week, our campaign reached out to multiple cities across India to drive home the message of road safety and to take the pledge to never drink and drive. It also associated with concerned NGOs across India to put together an agenda that was presented to concerned ministries, officials and stakeholders to work towards creating safer roads for citizens. Uh, such initiatives are very important because it involves every person. Over one lakh people lost their lives last year by drinking and driving. Take a pledge with me today. Swear never to drink and drive. Obey traffic rules, wear seat belts, never drink and drive, make India's roads safer. I think every person who's drinking should make it a point not to be behind the wheels and they should take an oath that I'm not going to drink and drive. The campaign hopes to encourage and inspire India to continue supporting the initiative to make our roads safer and to be more responsible behind the wheel. Yush, a lot of the work that you personally do uh, has to do with first responders and the importance of first responders. And in as much as we talk about our larger goals in this campaign, I'd like you to perhaps tell us a little bit more uh, of, of your message of how a person who comes face to face with a person who's injured in a road accident can save the life of that person if he or she responds quickly. What is that message? So, uh, you know, a couple of things. Firstly, uh, when people look at a victim lying on the road, they have to realize that uh, you know, if they are spectators today, they, they could be also lying where the victim is. So we have to have, uh, uh, you know, a scenario and an environment where people actually come forward and actively help injured persons. Uh, having said that, I think uh, people do come forward to help injured persons. It's, it's not like there is complete apathy in our society. What we do need is a supportive legal and ethical framework that they don't have to go through harassment at hospitals, at police stations, and then at the courts, uh, you know, for the act of helping an injured person. But if you see, see an injured person, the least you can do is inform the authorities. And if you're trained to assist, then absolutely come forward and provide that assistance. It could be CPR, it could be bleeding control, it could be something as simple as immobilizing the spine so that when the person is being lifted, they don't uh, suffer uh, you know, further injury. So, but, but some role has to be played to come forward and assist that injured person. Uh, because you know, in my case, for example, I lost a family member because he did not get care on time and he was lying on the road for 45 minutes. Uh, so, so you know, it could happen to anyone, anywhere, to anyone's family. And I think we all have to be conscious of that and come forward and play that, play that role in saving a uh, you know, person's life. Um, do you believe the government is doing enough to enforce uh, safer driving on our roads? Well, I think the government is certainly uh, making efforts, but you know, very, very clearly there's a long, long way to go. Uh, I think the problem starts by the fact that people who get a license, uh, the question is, do they really deserve to have that license? And when they drive on the road, do they follow the basic rules uh, that you need to for driving? Uh, you know, we were talking earlier that, uh, you know, on highways, there's just no discipline of how you drive on a highway. Yeah. Uh, no surprise then that you have these kinds of accidents. But I think what the government can do much more of is enforcement. Uh, I have seen myself in places like Mumbai, um, at least amongst my own social circles, the consciousness of not drinking and driving, having a designated driver or taking a cab after a party, uh, I would say is, is absolutely top of mind today. And that's because people know that they're going to get checked at the next barricade. Yeah. Right? I think we need to do a lot more of that around the country. Part of the NDTV Diageo campaign was a pledge to people across India, don't drink and drive. And you know what? Lacks of people signed on to this pledge. But the big question is this, will people practice what they preach? We certainly hope so. I've just taken the pledge, uh, I never drink and drive and I hope more people are encouraged to do the same. Please, never drink and drive. I pledge to not drink and drive, it's the most ridiculous thing that anyone can do and I've never done it and I would never let anyone I know ever make the mistake of doing that. 
I don't drink and drive and I hope everybody else pledges to not drink and drive. I've pledged to not drink and drive, I never do, I never have and I never will. I have pledged not to drink and drive and so should you.